What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Today we are on the latest software. We just got an update to 10.69.3.1. And Elon Musk did say this is going wide, which uh, should mean to all the testers. But it seems like so far some new people are being added, which is awesome, congratulations. But people that are on 10.69.2.4 are not getting this quite yet. Maybe by the time my video is up, you will be. Uh, but if you have not got this version yet, it's coming, I'm sure, very, very soon. Uh, so release notes actually, uh, Chuck Cook noticed that they're uh, the same as the 10.69.2.4 release notes, which is kind of a weird like mistake to make. Uh, but yeah, usually these dot one updates like we're looking at today don't have uh, much of a difference in the release notes anyway. So just starting off here real quick on some dirt roads uh, and to say hi and to show you the dirt roads. Um, there's not really much snow now. I did a little barely. We haven't had much accumulation um, snow driving and it's about the same. I mean, the car doesn't really seem to account for traction yet. Uh, that's something they really need to add, but we'll get there. So we're going to head into downtown Fenton, Michigan today and we're going to test out this kind of initial impression, see how the car is doing. We'll skip around, uh, look at the cool, interesting stuff, mistakes, uh, kind of wins, the things the car is doing right. So if you end up enjoying this video, please hit like and get subscribed. I'd really appreciate that. But uh, so far, dirt roads are feeling really good, really, really good. Uh, and yeah, let's skip into downtown. As I was coming down here, I passed a couple speed limit signs. One went from 45 to 35 and the car pretty quickly moved down to that 35 mile per hour speed limit. And I was like, whoa, maybe they fixed that, you know, highly requested feature. And then the 35 to 25, it seemed to do the same thing. <laughs> it's always done where really slowly, um, it really slowly changed the speed to match the speed limit. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll, we'll pass some more of those. Uh, but moving through this neighborhood and then uh, displaying all these cars really nicely, it did have an accidentally open door there that wasn't open, but it displayed it as open. Um, and we're gonna do kind of our turns we've done before. So stopping at the stop sign with no stop line. Uh, there's nobody to the left. We make our complete stop as always, and it's clear and we nicely move through. So really good, lots of smoothness here uh, so far in this branch. This bug fix update, oh yeah, let's see, did they fix? Yeah, so they fixed this bug almost. <laughs> it's a lot better. So it used to be in the in 69.3, uh, this would be blinking all over the place and like was actually really annoying, um, really aggravating, um, just because it was so in your face. But uh, okay, so this is a really kind of weird weirdly shaped intersection. It's not like a cross, but car handles that fine. Uh, so it's still blinking just a tiny bit as I move it, but barely. And I wanted to do this turn because this is pretty sharp. So to the right, traffic does not stop. And it's pretty hard like for me to see there. Like my passenger seat is almost like in the way. Now I do see somebody coming actually from both directions and the car stops. Let's see, are they seeing this person as well? It is seeing that person back there. So I'll have to wait for them. So yeah, the car is actually handling that pretty well. Yeah, that was, it, it's really hard to see back that way. And I've actually almost had somebody run into me coming where from where we just came from when I was going straight. Cause it's, it's just hard to look, look that direction, but the car is always looking everywhere. So uh, that's one of the big advantages it has. Now coming up to this left turn, we've done man, lots and lots of times here uh, that used to not work so well. And these days seems to work well. Don't make me a liar, beta. And we're moving through nicely and you don't stop. Look at that. We always used to stop right there and the car handled that well. And then followed by a couple of right turns here and then we're gonna go to a triple stop sign. Uh, there should be some activity here downtown with some vehicles and things to interact with. But uh, if I know some people on this drive, they're kinda like, where's the cars? Um, this is by my house. So these are the first drives we get on the weekend. I will go into downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan uh, soon. So make sure you don't miss that one with this version and there will be a lot more pedestrians and cyclists and well, I don't know about cyclists if it's this cold, but <laughs> lots more activity. So difficult to see the left with those trees and car handles that fine. So, so far we're, we're sailing really good here, really nicely. So let me put in the next destination here. So it's gonna stop because it has our old destination still. So I'm just gonna push it through there. That's perfectly normal. That's where uh, the pin was, so it should stop there. And then hopefully it'll get this in in time, but it looks like it already knows it wants to turn left. What is going on with the nav here? It's just taking forever. So we stop. We have pedestrians that we don't need to interact with. Wow, that was that was great. So again, no vehicles that we had to stop for, but we made our complete stop. Move through, pedestrians to the right didn't confuse the car at all. So that's really nice to see. So moving into the left turn lane here, and we can move through the blinking yellow. The car is capable of that, but it needs to wait for those vehicles. I would move way into the intersection. And now it's going 
tiny bit hesitant, but really good. I mean, it was at least smooth. It just took a little too long to, to make the move, but I'll take it. I mean, so far the drive feels really good. All of the moving around feels good. The interactions we've had so far feel good. So here is where I screw with the nav. Controversial part of the drive. <laughs> Ever it seems every video you guys have different, I mean, it's different people obviously all the time, but um, have different opinions. So last time the car did uh, pretty well and you said, keep trying to screw it up in this way. Other videos people have asked me not to do exactly what I'm doing here because it does really trip the car up. But that's the point. So once this nav, I, man, we're slow today. I don't know what's taking so long. Once this nav comes in, uh, the car will need to not kind of lose its mind trying to reroute here. So it missed that turn. So let's see how it handles it. It's not braking. That's good. That's good. It can reroute. It's going to probably miss this one too. Yep, they missed that one too. Still no braking. So this is being handled beautifully. Again, this is why I like to screw it up in this way. So there we go. It very, it perfectly, gracefully handled that. It did not break. It just waited until it had a move coming up that it could do. Uh, so that is a huge improvement in that little uh, test I've been doing for a long time now. That used to like crash the whole computer. <laughs> the computer used to just be like, no, take over immediately. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Now it can wait for good directions. So that's so nice. Uh, moving through here, really nice on those right turns. Wow, everything feels really good. Um, it's, I mean, again, I know there's not a whole lot of vehicles we've interacted with yet, but just the car moving around the world, you know, that's kind of the first step. That's got to be pretty perfect um, if you want to be able to handle the more complex scenarios. And then this right here, so we're creeping. Uh, there's nobody, nobody around. And then an unprotected left. So this should be at least a little difficult. We'll have some cars to interact with here. All right, so complete stop at the stop sign. Absolutely can't see anything. Uh, to the right, I can see a bit. To the left, nope. And we got a creep out. I mean, I can still barely see. And we're good to go. And we, we move right through there. So, I mean, there was the one person we waited for, which is good. There was a car kind of coming up behind us, but we had plenty of space to, oh, dirty back camera, to uh, get in front of them. So handled all of that rerouting navigation uh, perfectly. So I'm wondering how the car will handle this. We have a lineup of cars, and we need to move into the left turn lane. Okay, I mean, we got a tiny bit close to that white car, but I, I think I probably, now it's a little awkward because they're just driving next to us. I probably would have handled that about the same way. I'm not going to wait back there when my whole lane is open, and we have a nice green light to move through. Wow, what the heck? <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh, this is awesome so far. Uh, oh, and that white car actually got behind us, so they kind of more waited until like the correct opening in the left turn lane. Whereas my car kind of did it the wrong way, but they were just sitting there, they weren't moving. So I, I think I would have done the exact same thing. I'm not gonna sit there while your car isn't moving. I don't know, that's probably a controversial one, but I think that was great. I think that was a really good move. So then we're gonna turn right into this neighborhood here. Uh, you know, I, I think I need to adjust this route a bit because a lot of these things that are in this route used to be more difficult for the car. And these days the car is just handling all of them like with no problems at all. Uh, so, <laughs> um, like, like this neighborhood used to really trip it up because the, the road's so wide and the lines are like kind of there, but barely. Uh, and at this point, like, I don't think we've had a, a problem here in a long time. All right, let's go to the roundabout. That has been very iffy in uh, 69 branch. Uh, it's number five, but, um, oh, this is where the map was all messed up. So 69 branch has been really iffy with roundabouts, but 69.3 has been very good for me. Not perfect but a way, way big improvement over 69.2. So let's see if we can uh, improve on that or keep it up here. All right, I put in a different one. Let's actually take this, this different route. So this will take us back through downtown uh, for a little more interesting spot. And you know what, let's do, let's fast forward through this part. Let's see if the car can make it uh, without any interventions from here to downtown. Well, well, we pretty much made it. This is the roundabout here. I did nothing the entire time. So that's really a little weird jerk of the steering wheel there. That was really nice. Uh, we're, I, I don't want to jinx it. We're approaching a no intervention drive here. 
uh, on my, you know, kind of first initial impressions, which like never happens. All right, let's see roundabout. So through the yield, nicely uses the correct turn signal. Nobody in Michigan uses turn signals, but the car should probably do that. Handled perfectly, there you go. So, I mean, like I said, 69.2 was real goofy with, with roundabout. So I'm very happy to see that. We're gonna go through it a couple more times. Let me just turn around because uh, interacting with cars was one of the problems it was having. Uh, so let's try it again, maybe, I don't know, two or three more times. All right, I'm just having a tough time with the nav here. Like, hopefully it'll load in time. There we go. So we are going, and you should stop, I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at that. Wow, that was very good. <laughs> and then we go as soon as he's out of the way. Yes, let's go. And then don't stop for this guy, even though he's going kind of fast. Wow. So that, that, first, that was perfect. I mean, that could not have been better. Uh, the person coming towards us definitely expected us to go straight. You could tell, oh, don't stop for that guy. We had a little slowing for that person to the left. You could tell that they expected us to go straight and they were coming pretty fast at us and the car did not hesitate there. That was awesome. All right, let's go through it one more time and we'll take this. This has been a pretty tough um, unprotected left here for the car. All right, here we go. So we got unprotected left here and we're gonna go back through the roundabout and go to the triple stop sign again. So we need to wait for um, actually lots of cars, which is good, this is what we want. We're inching up because now there's a person to our right, so we can't see. It's actually pretty interesting. It thinks car doors are open all over the place, which they're not. <laughs> um, it can't see to the right. So I'm hoping it'll wait until this person turns because otherwise, like, you cannot see. You cannot go. Yeah, it's, it's trying to creep. It's trying to look. It's trying to look. And it's waiting for that person. Okay, I'll take it. That was that was actually pretty cool. I, a little sketch, a little sketch, but it, it basically crept out and it looked like it was almost gonna try to use that uh, left turn lane. It crept out until it could see, and then when it was clear, it went like immediately. So again, I didn't need to intervene there. Uh, that's been a real trouble spot before because cross traffic there's probably going 50 or more miles per hour. And that was all very smooth. Oh, don't slam on your brakes for that guy. Okay, so for some reason, I'm gonna report that, go. All right, there you go, there's an intervention. <laughs> the accelerator, come on, let's go. Um, it's still being really hesitant here. Um, for some reason, those people coming from the highway are really freaking it out. So there, we didn't get an intervention-free drive, darn. But we are nicely moving through the uh, <laughs> the roundabout again. And I mean, I could have just let it, like waited there forever, but I had someone behind me, so I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, so <laughs> there you go, one intervention. We can't, we can't have perfect drives yet, come on people. So I would call, uh, I would call roundabouts fixed. And what I mean by that, doesn't mean they're gonna work 100% of the time every time, but in like 69, that two and whatever, they seem like they were broken, like the car didn't have a chance of doing it correctly, or if it did it correctly, it was basically just luck. Now, from the three I just did, and what I was experiencing before on 69.3, it seems the car actually has all the right stuff there for roundabouts, and it's very good at them. Of course, sometimes it still makes mistakes and, and blah, 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 but it's all there and, and able to do it. So that's very nice. I'm very excited to see that. Thank you, Autopilot team. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I, I actually said when I talked to some of them, I was like, can you please make roundabouts work? Like, that's what I did. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Why are we, don't stop here. No, no. Okay, I'm hitting the accelerator now. It sees those, um, so we had another intervention. What, what are you waiting for? Um, it saw the train track signs as, as uh, stoplights for some reason. We've gone through that street, I'm gonna report it, a bunch of times and it's never done that there. I shouldn't say never, but I don't remember it ever doing it at that spot, so. All right, I guess I just got out a little too early this morning. So we're going for this unprotected left and there's a bunch of traffic over at the triple stop sign. So it'll be good. We're in the intersection. This is great. The car didn't used to do this. The car used to wait all the way back at the stop line. And then when it was clear, it would try to go through. Let's see, boom, preemptive move forward. You gotta turn the steering wheel here. All right, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, it used to wait at the stop, stop line. And then if there was room, it would go all the way through. When really you gotta get in the intersection if there's too many cars and it turns yellow, then you, that person is blue, even though we're not interacting with them, then you move through when it's yellow, like as soon as you can go, even if it turns red. Legally here, that's that's what you can do. If you're in the intersection already, you can complete that maneuver. So let's get this interaction here with uh, no trunk open animation, <laughs> the other vehicles. So 
Uh, it's kind of like technically, wow, okay, let's do it, dude. I yes, take it, let's go. I like that. You're showing, no, you gotta actually go when you do. <laughs> okay, a little slow, but, but you gotta like show that initiative to show people, yes, it's my turn. I know it's my turn. We're moving through. So, really nice there. Uh, let's do unprotected left back through that triple stop. All right, let's see if it'll reroute in time here. It's uh, picked the wrong direction for me. We want to turn left. The car has a right turn signal on. I think it's probably going to change that before we actually make the right turn. Yep, it did. I knew it. And we got to wait for some traffic. So, Model 3 there. Wow, you're creeping a lot. Actually, no, that's that's not bad. There are random... Do okay, there's a person. <laughs> there's two dogs over there I can see, but the person's behind a light pole, so I just saw the dogs. Um, all right, so... After this person is a minivan, like if you punch it, you could go, but no, now you can't. And it can see, it can see that. Yeah, so it's kind of a weird move out into the road, but, and then you take it in front of that. There was a pickup coming, put that up for you. And it took it in front of them, which was good. That was exactly what you needed to do. You can't just wait in the road like that. So overall, like there was a tiny, you know, not the best unprotected left, but negotiating with all those vehicles, it did it. It got out there. It was safe. Uh, nobody, you know, we didn't come in near anybody. So but that was really nice. Then we'll turn right here. Wow, I guess we just got here at the perfect time. So they were there before us, clearly. And then we make our complete stop anyway and right turn. Oh, no, oh yeah, okay. This is what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it goes, it goes here to get to this place. All right, let me uh, put in my home and then wrap it up. I'm a little chicken up. I just saw somebody fall and there are people there helping her, but I, I called 911 and they're, they're coming to help. I don't know, that was, it's just weird when you see stuff like that. <laughs> A little thrown off um, but it seems like she's gonna be okay and, and the ambulance was on their way um, so uh, <laughs> uh, just trying to gather my thoughts here so um, I'm I'm impressed by this drive and uh, what I've experienced so far and I say that a lot with updates not not every update because uh, you know some updates are like weird and you're like what the heck this is terrible um, but this one was really good on top of what I've experienced and I'm kind of thinking about why do I keep you know being impressed Shouldn't it be like <laughs> done if it, if I keep being impressed so much? Well, it's it does get better and better and better. And once you're on like this version, you kind of get used to it after a while. And um, you know the mistakes show up and, and stuff like that. But it is handling things really well. I think that was our best initial impressions uh, impressions drive I've ever had. Uh, I think the the car handled that better than it's ever handled it before, which is awesome. And you know just we're getting better and better. Uh, I always say like actual Robo Taxi, like level four. I personally, I still think that's very far off. I would love to be wrong, uh, but the car is getting very impressive and it's in a state where I, I'm sure wide release is imminent by the end of the year. Maybe not. I mean, I have no control over that obviously, so don't get disappointed if it doesn't happen, but just from the driver's seat, from a customer perspective, I don't see why they would not allow people that paid for this to have it because it's at a, in a state where it's very usable, especially once you kind of get used to it and you're okay with the quirks and stuff, um, and and safe and, and doing things really well. So overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you will uh, see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next one. <laughs> I'm all messed up. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you down in the comments. Later.